Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. A company led by former Tesco CEO Sir Dave Lewis plans to build the world's longest undersea electric cable, running 3,800 kilometers between North Africa and the United Kingdom. Zlinx plans to finish the £16 billion Morocco-UK link by the end of the decade, supplying enough electricity to power more than 7 million British homes. Lewis added that the initiative was also financing £800 million to develop three manufacturing facilities in the UK, in order to meet the rising demand for electric cables used in offshore wind farms, and undersea interconnectors. We have secured with the Moroccan government an area of about 1,500 square kilometers on that land, we are going to put a solar farm, a wind farm, and batteries which combined will produce about 10.5 gigawatts of power, he told the Financial Times. The project's goal is to generate renewable energy in Morocco around the clock, using the sun during the day and wind at night, with battery power to fill in the gaps. Some of the electricity will subsequently be delivered to a facility in Devon through four 3.6 gigawatts submarine cables. Zlinx, a London-based company founded in 2018, has failed to acquire funding for the Morocco-UK link. Simon Morish, the company's CEO and the founder of Levitate Capital, a venture capital firm, is in charge. Undersea cables, also known as interconnectors, have become more popular in recent years, as they allow countries to trade power. The world's longest existing interconnector, between Norway and Northumberland in northeast England, was recently built at a cost of almost €2 billion Euros and spans 720 kilometers across the North Sea. Interconnectors have become even more appealing as the UK's offshore wind industry has grown, as it allows the country to export excess power and import it when needed. A cable as long as the one proposed by Zlinx, has never been built, and earlier attempts to establish extraordinarily long interconnections, such as the ice link between Iceland and Scotland, have failed due to cost and permit issues. Because of the dropping cost of wind power, Tom Edwards, a senior modeler at energy consultant Cornwall Insight, believes that importing electricity from Morocco to the UK may not be cost competitive by the time it starts running. A fire at a station in Kent that is part of the UK Frenchy Far Link forced the interconnector to go offline earlier this month. Thank you for watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.